Hi, we are live. Again, it's a, it's a monthly uh, live call um, uh, meeting with um, uh, Feed and Beyond. This is Dr. Hilly Nguyen in Hackett Sound, New Jersey. So uh, today, uh, the topic for this, uh, this month is as we starting to uh, get ready for our Memorial Weekend um, is official uh, uh, weekend is the start of the summertime, so I, I just want to go over a few uh, health foot health facts, just something to be aware of uh, when we enjoy the holidays uh, weekend, whether in the beach, uh, boardwalk, or hiking, whatever that we're doing. So just keep uh, a little bit of uh, uh, um, you know mindful about our feet and be healthy uh, throughout the whole uh, process. So. Um, I, I do see a lot of patients uh, coming to see us after the holiday, usually around the summertime. The most common thing that they have is because for female that we uh, usually uh, wear flip-flop um, and it's uh, very accessible for us, it's easy footwear during the summertime and hot um, season. So it's be more appropriate when we wear those flip-flop uh, for the convenience, but of course we pay the price afterward. A lot of people have blister. A lot of people have come in with uh, foot pain, uh, heel pain, uh, that sort of things. And and one of the things I usually tell the patient is because flip flop is a very poorly designed. Um, they do not have any arch support uh, at all. And when you are on your feet all day long, whether that you are walking or standing and uh, just like sightseeing, uh, and those are prolonged standing. And without supportive device on the feet, it usually is a complication for any foot pain afterward. Another thing that I um, also have patient we, we do this week is actually a very busy week for us because most of the patients want to get their toenail done, uh, get their nail polish for the holidays. So those are something I will talk about what we can do in our office to, to help you keep your foot healthy, uh, look nice throughout the whole entire summertime season. Okay. Um, another thing um, that I would like to uh, mention, so most of the time that we don't really pay attention to that, is uh, we constantly exposing um, our skin to sun. And uh, we heard about sunscreen. Uh, sunscreen we always use on our face, on our whatever, our arm, our back, um, our leg even. But most of the time we don't really sunscreen, put sunscreen and sunblock on our feet. And those are also the organ or the part of the our body is also exposed to sun. And as we know what, how damaged it can be if we are uh, exposed to the UV light through the sun, uh, that can potential for sunburn or even have a, a different skin conditions that can be uh, uh, quite a concern. Uh, during the summer season. So those are the kind of like a three tip I would say, you know, flip-flop, uh, sunscreen, and uh, supportive device for your feet throughout the whole entire. Just remember those three things, I think, and I think that we pretty much cover uh, uh, the foot health part for the summertime. All right. So let me just uh, quickly mention to you uh, what we do here at Feed and Beyond, that we do have uh, many uh, advanced technologies and uh, the innovative ways for um, our patients to continue to have a, a healthy feet throughout the whole entire year, not just a season. Uh, it's just that because uh, we're going to be enjoying our summertime, so I'm going to talk about, you know, summer foot health, basically. Um, uh, one of the uh, services that we provide to take care of the most common problem in our feet is the fungal toenail. Uh, uh, as now that we start so wearing open toe shoes and sandals. So a lot of patients that notice like, you know, something's going on with their feet, their toenail, uh, the yellow streak or, you know, a yellow discoloration, sometimes it's brown, they don't know what's going on. Um, some people actually has been covering the toenail with a nail polish and now they remove it and they start seeing something a little bit, you know, funky looking. Mm -hmm. I usually, usually have like, literally that is one of the complaints that the patient mentioned when they come to see me. So we usually, what we do in our office that we uh, start out with the pathology um, a study, which is take a specimen of the toenail and send to the lab and confirm with um, the pathologist of 
whether the patient is infected, uh, the toner is infected with fungal infections or bacteria infection, sometimes just yeast. Um, so those kind of things is, is very crucial for us to be able to diagnose and uh, render the proper care treatment for the patient. And one of the common infections on the toner is a fungal toner. At Feeding Beyond, we actually we have the laser technology that we use um, very effectively. If uh, for the cases that patient, they don't want to take any oral medications um, to get rid of the, fun, um, the, the toner infection. So we use the, that laser technology to take care of that. Uh, the other option is a topical medication. Most of the time that patient come to see us, they already dry something over the counter. They are like Google on internet. They get something from Amazon to put on their toenail already. And that's usually wasn't um, giving them the result that they wanted. So that's why they, they get to us. And, uh, you know, obviously uh, it's not appropriate for us to say, oh, you know, you just go to Walmart, Target to get those over the counter and put it on again. Because technically that's already done. So we offer them the option of the laser treatment along with all the recommended item uh, and with a protocol, a proper, a proper protocol to take care of the fungal toner. Um, so those are uh, a one of those treatment options that we usually provided and recommended to the patient. And there are cases that uh, the toenail gets really severely damaged from the infection. And uh, the patients um, really anxious about that because, you know, they want to have that good looking toenails and show off their feet during the summertime walking on sandal. So we do have um, the technologies, this is what we call the, the nail toenail restoration system. That is called Carry Flex. So Carry Flex is one of those, it's a, it's a very innovative way just to take care of the toenail. It's not, you know, just a full disclosure, Carry Flex doesn't treat fungal toenail. But what we do, we use Carry Flex during the, pa the time the patient uh, uh, having the treatment for fungal toenail. So we use that to cover the damaging nail or during the time that we're treating the nail so that the patient still have the regular looking toenail and they can still allow them to use nail polish to put over. And this is a very uh, a good way, it's a great solution to um, take care of the damaging nails. Um, patient doesn't have to worry about anything. Uh, it's, uh, and, some patient come to tell me, uh, come in and tell me, so what's the difference between acrylic nail, which they get at the nail salon, compared to this carry flex? So I usually tell patients, well, carry flex is a, is a medical, uh, the medical treatment. Um, acrylic nail is not a medical treatment. The acrylic nail, the, the acrylic nail material is actually is a very non-porous. So what happened is it still accumulated the germ and bacteria underneath the acrylic uh, material itself. And it's actually is a more uh, damage to the, the, the area of that, that the toenails get infected. And most of the time it's actually getting worse. Sometimes it's accumulated bacteria under there. I have patients that came in that would, um, you know, the whole, to uh, in the whole entire toenail purple. That usually, when we see some color like that, that is usually is an um, indica uh, indication for some sort of a bacterial infection. And that is actually more serious than just a fungal infection. Um, so that is something that I, I would like to, to mention as an option right now um, in our office, but I'm sure that uh, some other uh, medical facilities also have some this kind of technologies and offer that to the patient. So, so I just want to mention that's out there. And um, uh, the, uh, the one of the concern that I kind of mentioned is about foot pain, heel pain, um, arch pain, or whatever the pain on the bottom, the ball of the foot, you know, when uh, walking or standing on sandals throughout the summer. So those kind of thing that is, uh, of course, is a biomechanic problem. And in the combination of not having a support footwear throughout the whole process. So what we usually, we recommend them to come in for us to evaluate. Uh, and that is a option and solution out there that um, 
<clears throat> that will be able, it's not a surgical solution, it's not a surgical option, it's something that is called um, a fat graft uh, injections. It's right under the ball of the foot, that's where the, the, the fat cushion is get worn out. That's why all the pressure is going to the ball of the foot and the patient has a lot of pain. So that um, technology is actually available in the past few years. A lot of doctors has been using that. It's like a, 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 a pillow. Just think about having a pillow on your the ball of the foot. So it's make your foot feel more comfortable when you're walking and it's a not a, a surgical uh, option. It's a very conservative option. It's just through the injection. All right, so those are the things that kind of pretty much cover what uh, what I just talked about. And uh, I do have something is this very uh, um, useful. I, I gave that to my patient most of the time, especially around this time of the year. It's, it's some of the pointers for, for whoever going for pedicures, right? So we do have the do's and don'ts. Uh, and this is actually um, um, uh, compiled by the American Podiatric Medical Association. So these are the um, the uh, the pointers, the do's and don'ts, uh, just to have a, a very nice pedicure or healthy feet for the summertime. So this um, this is uh, material right here that I have right here in my hand. So uh, I mean, if there's any uh, comments or if you would like to get a hand a copy of this, just like uh, you know, you can always email us to info at feedandbeyond.com, okay? So info, I-N-F-O, at feedandbeyond.com. Or you can go to our website and just like um, put in, go into contact us and just like say that request the pedicure, uh, pedicure pointers so that we can have your email address and we can send you a digital copy of that. And that is actually very useful. Um, I would say that it doesn't matter if uh, for the ladies or gentlemen, you know, I know that I have, um, male patient, they go for pedicures uh, because keeping their feet healthy is a very important thing and, and we don't want to uh, you to have your summer or springtime room because of your foot problem. All right.